going to share my two cents on spark plugs. Here we're going to pull the plugs out of our uh, 3.5 liter Murano and they're way down in the head. You've got your uh, you're right through the top of the head rather than the side. So it's got to go through the valve cover and everything else way down in the bottom there. Now that leaves a lot of chance to uh, strip the plug, put it in wrong. Um, a, an easy way to take care of that. Simple piece of hose. Just put the hose on the end of the spark plug. Now when you're putting it in, if you do happen to cross thread it, all that will happen is your hose will spin on your spark plug. So now you can put it in all the way, bottom it out with the hose. Simply pull the hose back off again and uh, greatly reduces the risk of stripping the plug. Plus in tight spots you can kind of bend it a little bit once you have it started. A lot less chance for damage now. When should you change your plugs? A lot of plugs are saying that they can last a lot longer, I, but they probably cost more money too. Now, I would change, go to a medium grade plug and change it more often. Pulling your plug out allows you to take a look inside your engine and uh, see the condition of how it's running. So um, you want a nice brown kind of light film on it. Uh, you don't want to see white or oil on it. The uh, white is antifreeze, oil is uh, bad pistons, rings. So since everything is aluminum now, a lot of manufacturers, and I harp on Ford a lot, but their 5.4s and their 4.8s, they only had a couple threads holding their spark plugs in. And uh, because it's aluminum, if you didn't change your plugs exactly at 80,000 kilometers, um, your plugs would you'd be driving along and flunk, and your plug would hit the hood. Now you have to clean those threads um, and you can get somebody to put new threads in it again or put a Healy coil in it but you get shavings that fall in your engine and uh, if they didn't do a good job cleaning it out or if they didn't pull the head off to do it uh, you get stuck with somebody else's screw up. So you can see how it's nice and brown on the outside there, brown on the plug, that's a sign of a good running engine so that's a good sign for this engine. Um, this was a common occurrence for the early 2000s in the uh, Fords. Then they decided, well, you know what, let's put 12, plug, 12 threads in there holding the plug on. That'll fix the problem. But your plug is steel, the head is aluminum, and they oxidize together. Now when you change your plugs at 120,000 K, um, all of a sudden you get the top half of your plug in your, in your socket, and the bottom half is corroded into the engine. So that was a problem for a few years of manufacturing before they figured that out. Now they figured out to put a steel Healy coil or a steel insert inside the uh, head and now it's not as big of a problem anymore. But if you're not steady with your uh, spark plug changes, it end up costing you a lot of money. So yeah, simple trick with the, with the hose. If you don't have a magnet or whatever, you can pull your plug, back, your plug right back out again with it. And uh, there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> So follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.